Alright, so we're making our way around still, and you can see the the bottom little rain barrier or whatever chipping away from this building here. And then there was a little arched something over here. An arched winder. This brick going right down there. Very interesting. Now that's done. Old bell just rung up there, so I think it's time to go see if we can get inside. What do you think, honey? Isn't it 11 right now? It's quarter till. Oh, why is the bell ringing? <laughs> Maybe he just rings when he wants to ring. Oh, record 1810. I don't know if you believe it. There's something under here. Almost sure that I don't. That little thing. Something under there showing that it's yeah. below ground level. Top of a window. There's Who knows? It's all been facaded over. So they got curtains on the windows. They don't want somebody to go in there. Look. That's the office of the president, honey. We'll move around. Foiled by the president. Oh well. Yeah, we don't want to see your hidden sub basements anyway. Well, at least we got a little peek of what it was right there. <laughs> okay, fine, we're leaving. I'm gonna try to get this again. Is that how you write a four in Roman numerals? Doesn't seem right. Oh, there's a sign or something. Organized, 1771. Organized, huh? So that means it was already here in 1771 in order to become organized. Unitas fratrum. If anybody catches that. Okay, anyway, we're waiting for it to open, so we'll be here. Okay, she won't let me not tell you guys about this little <laughs> mud flood drop down. Yes, it's interesting. That we found. Look. You don't have to lift that up, honey. We can see through Look, it. It's better without the gate in front of the gate, honey. Look how far it goes down, see? Women are, women are like always right or something, right? Or it's best if you are. It's best if we lift this gate up so you can see underneath it. Honey, it's not a gate for one. Anyway, you see the brick going straight into the ground while we yeah. sit here and bicker. It's <laughs> a good 10 foot drop, right? Yes, and that's full of water in there. Which, why wouldn't you have a pump to pump that out? Exactly. At least. We've seen plenty of sump pumps on mud flutters. We have. Honestly. It's kind of weird. And not piped in with pressure fittings either. Just regular DWV. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, it's probably going to be a long one, so just stick with us. But anyway, this is the top side of that little spot where the guy was just chilling on the bobcat. Spends most of his day that way, probably. But they've brought the grade all the way up over here for a new little project, I guess. Moravian Church right there. 
But these are below ground windows. So a very sturdy building. <laughs> very much. Huh? And we're headed over to this guy. Mm -hmm. But we're also looking around. Some guy doing woodcraft in there. All these buildings just buried, honey. That's crazy. They are. In 1771, that church was organized. It's pretty fishy language, you know. It was clearly already there for it to be organized. All right. I like how these old curbs are this uh, granite, I think, is what that is. I could be wrong, I'm no specialist in that type of stuff. But even a lot of these bricks look like they were handmade bricks. They do. Because of how the, they got the swirl pattern to them. I don't know if anybody can see that. Like they were rolled, you know, packed in. Cute little mud flood window right there. Aww. <laughs> So these these windows were made in that in the style that we all know and love out of wood. Oh look at this door. So this is all wooden. Why is the door above the ground like this? Oh. Honey, it's just to fake people out. That is so weird. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing in the world. Like if you open that door you just plop on the pavement. <laughs> Very there silly. You go. Well, I like how they copied the old world style in the windows. Some fancy little brick tooth, or dog tooth brick work. Little mud flood window. Yeah, because that makes sense. Right. Just like having a door up in the air like that. Oh, here's another door. Look at that. Nice. You don't think it's going to be open, do you? No. President might be standing there to tell you, hey, hey, get back, back, back. I'll have a few words with that president. <laughs> okay, exploring further. Aww. Look at this little oh. tiny door. Is it unlocked? It is. Yeah, I believe it be, honey. Well, I'm just going to take a quick peek. We can. Hey, come here. Look. Okay. We're in the basement. Hey, this is pretty cool. Look at oh, all look, this stuff. There's a door here with the lock on it. Arch doorway down here. It's not really locked. Bunch of arch doors down here. Look at that. You right. want to go in yeah. one of these? Yeah. No. Not really. Hey, give me some light. I'm going to go back this way. Give me some light. Some light? I can't while well, I'm recording, honey. Okay. I thought you could. I'm going to try these doors back here. You want to come with the camera? You can get in. Hey, I can get in. Come here. Well, hold on, honey. What's this place? Oh, this is super sweet. Oh, but look at this old floor here. Look at this old floor. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, if somebody grabs you, I'm running. <laughs> Should we go upstairs? No, honey. No, it's probably nothing interesting up there anyway. We don't want to come up from the basement on the president's house or something, right? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. President. I was exploring and I got lost. Let me open this other door over here. Oh, look at these little headstone things, honey. This oh, is wow. kind of creepy. Headstone. Oh, hey, sweetie. Yeah, here. let's get it. Come here. There's another door. Over here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, hope I you guys are had enjoying. I have a flashlight, though. Yeah, we have no oh, flashlight. Oh, man. We don't have one in the car or anything? Okay, there's nothing to see over there. There is stuff back here. 
We have no light to show the people though, honey. Well, we can, there's a little bit of light back here. Oh, there's another door. It's a women's restroom, it says. What in the world? Oh, the toilets are all boarded up. It's old toilets, old plumbing. Okay, let's work our way out, honey. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Man, we should have brought a flashlight. Yeah, next time. <laughs> next time. Pretty cool though. You can see it in Judy the dark. Died September seventh, eighteen fifty-three. Oh, poor Judy's gravestone is back in this old place. Yeah, that's what happens later on. Oh, Joe died April something. Aww. Too bad. Well, hey, I still have this lock in my hand. Where'd this come from? Over here. This oh, door. Original? Okay. So. Are there any more doors in here? Maybe tied? I don't think so, honey. I think we're done in here. <laughs> I'll try every door I can. We need to get you a new uh, umbrella, honey. I know. I abandoned my umbrella. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Okay, we're gonna leave this running for these uh, fences over here too. These wrought iron fences. Wow. Hey, okay, that was pretty cool exploring that cellar. Yeah, that was awesome, honey. Good job. Yeah, baby. Way to get it. <laughs> hey, the bell's ringing again. Okay. Honey, I gotta look at this wrought iron over here. And I don't know if this is new or old or what, but we just gotta look at it. And then I guess we can make our way back to the church finally, yeah, right? Finally anyway, these columns up here. Great. My goodness, the tops of them. Pretty incredible. Toroidal fields, leaves. Of course, you see the ironwork. What is that? Part of the Salem College? Do I don't know. I don't know what it is, honey. But let's get a little closer. That stuff is solid, bud. Is it open, though? Gotta open. Oh, look at the bees, honey. Where? They keep bees right there. Aww, that's pretty cool. We don't need to go in there, honey. You don't want to? Um, what is this building that we just went underneath? The underground cellar. This unnamed building. I don't see any identification on it. I don't know. Honey, we'll have to check it out. But hold on, let's capture some of this stuff almost looks like that uh, old world boat type yeah. symbol right there some type of diamond symbology diamonds and circles on the bottom the circle with the circle in the middle leaves along the side as above so below representation A lot of stuff going on here. See, we added this. Yeah. This little crap. But this stuff. Well, that anyway. Solid. No, it's okay, honey. We don't need to go in there. Somebody hanging out over there anyway. Pardon? There was somebody hanging out over there anyway. You can hang out too. <laughs> I guess so, huh? Okay, done here. Okay, big distraction over there out of the way. Back to this guy for another quick look. And I'm not sure what he is. They actually got stairs up to this door on the back side because you know you gotta have one side to access. I'm just noticing this. Flat earth asterisk up there. Your Phoenician shell on the top, maybe? Uh, I don't know. 
Flood, flood winders and vents. Oh, is that what that is? That's what that is, but there's no identification on this, unless it's on here. Wait. Oh. What's this about? Oh, here you go. Yeah, we got it. Got it right here. Second Salem Boys School. Oh. 1896, they claim. So that's the place we just went underground. Yeah. The boys school. Interesting. Veerling Barn, 1804. Right there. Doctor's house and apothecary. Oh, look at the double door. It's like. Yeah, the top. The top will open. It will yeah. s will swing open. Pretty neat. Yeah. I like these doors along or these windows along the bottom. That goes down pretty far. Pretty awesome, honey. What kind of crazy crap is this? What? Cedarhurst. Cedarhurst? Okay, as we just stumble upon stuff, I guess. We sure do. Cedarhurst, 1895. Big ol' sandstone, I guess. Is what that is. I like that how they did that along the edge there. It's very neat. Okay, and you got some type of shield, something there. Cedarhurst. See inside a little bit. Stairs going up. What's this a butt plug under being covered up or something? Wow. Window, yep. Covered up window. We did better with that one. <laughs> yes, we did better with that one than that. With that one. That yeah. damn tin one, whatever it was. What is this little? I don't know, but all this whole area is just buried. Buried stuff down there too. Very cool around here. Look how far them damn stairs come up. Two sets. Coming down here? Oh yeah, sure. It's gonna be a long video, honey. Do you mean to hold the map? We're gonna lose people 30 seconds in. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the map? Sure, yeah. If you don't mind.
not strong enough. Well, it doesn't look like it opens. I'm not strong enough either. <laughs> so what is this sitting in here all weird? Oh, it's a chimney. This is for firing. Oh, is that what it is? Or something. Okay, great. Some type of kiln, maybe. Look at that buried underground level of that house right here. I still think one of these windows. Oh, there's there goes the uh, that damn blimp again. Weird. Can you try this one. Try this door. I mean, this window. Sure, honey. It's not going to open. Oh. They're locked. It's a little buried. All right, I'm going to have to answer phone calls here in a minute. Windows under there. Okay, we'll be back. Much plainer pews than we have now. Uh -huh. We've always had a balcony, but it has switched around three different times. Okay. I mean, the congregation actually started out facing one way, wow. then they switched to another, and then back again. Oh, okay, right. couldn't quite make up their minds. Though. Yeah, yeah, but the outside structure has always been the same. I'm not sure, this is our uh, chapel, and I'm not sure when they built that, but obviously before 1900. The mm -hmm. church itself was um, built in uh, 1800. Oh, okay. And, uh, when we first settled here, must have taken a lot to build this thing, dig it into the ground like it. Well, it's and, settled. And it, it was a planned community, so oh, okay. the Moravians came to this area in 1771 mm -hmm. and actually set up camp about six miles from here. Okay. And there's also a church and a historical district there. About um, about how many came and settled here? Do you? Know that? You know, I'm forgetting how many men it was that actually walked from Pennsylvania mm -hmm. down here. Wow, they I walked here? Was, yeah, they did. That's like, impressive. I think it was 14 of them. Oh, oh okay. And, you know, they came to, uh, they would have gone to Bethabra, you know, made a shack to live in, yeah. and, you right. know, planned out the city. Uh, and, Quite a hardy bunch was, to make that walk. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, it was sort of a, um, it wasn't just a bunch of farmers that came here. This was more like a planned city where, you know, they knew, well, we need a gunsmith, we need a tinsmith, mm -hmm. we need shop setups, uh, yeah. we need ironworks. So well organized people, people were selected based on what they had to offer the community. Yeah. like it. And at one time, kind of because of that, the community was totally run by the church. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And of course, all things change over time. So, um, but it was a land grant uh, from an English king who the detail gave on top us there. land that was basically the size wow. of Versailles County. And one of the first things they built after they got the main thing squared away with the community was they built the college for girls. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was very unusual at that time in the 1700s for... Um, what is this here? I think that's from our, our Irish... Um, Irish Council of Churches? Yeah. Um, there's a group of ladies here that oh. several decades that took more pictures. Okay. <laughs> and we also have our guest book. If, if you're right there and want to sign it, uh, you're welcome to. Okay. Um, you want to sign ours? Sign us but yeah, anyone? we had a group group of ladies from here go yeah. to Northern Ireland, and then they came here. So there's been quite uh, a connection. And okay. we have mission work all over the world. In fact, Right now, there are more Moravians in Tanzania than anywhere else in the world because mm -hmm. of our mission efforts that go back to the 1700s from Germany. Oh, wow. So it's, okay. uh, and in the islands, uh, some of the congregations there are older than ours. Okay. Do you know if there are any, like, construction photos of 
uh, you know, things around here? Because it's all they're all really kind of similar yeah, in the sense that they German architecture. No. German architecture. Yeah, okay. because that's where they came from. That's what they do. Uh -huh. In fact, if you look at our, um, see, you can see it really well right here. You can see it when you go in. See how there's no uh, place. There's not a hard ceiling wall connection. I mean, it just sort of swoops up. Yes. It's yes. just like that in the church in Germany in okay. Heritage. Um, and you know the original walls are still here. I'm sure, it does a number for the sound. Yeah. In the. Yeah. But a lot of what you see today, the curved pews, the fancy windows, all of this was a result of the 1912, 1913 renovation. Okay. Yeah. And we've done some things since then, but basically we pulled up the carpet and refinished the hardwood floors that were underneath it, you know, while oh, okay. wall carpet had its day. I got you. Yeah. Just let you look around. There, um, if you go over to the visitor center, which is mm -hmm. sort of across the big street. Is that the gift shop visitor center? Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. Been there. Um, there are a lot of books written on Salem. And I'm okay. sure some of those will be on architecture. I'm just not an authority. Yeah, we're fascinated by the old old architecture. And yeah. Stuff, so. Awesome. I think I'm going to go up and push a magic button, and you'll be able to hear the organ. Oh, okay. Great. We heard somebody ringing the bell earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Does that do it by itself? We have to. We. <laughs> someone winds it, so oh, okay. you don't have to be there ringing it. But it is. Um, Wound every so often. Oh, and then he goes and climbs the bell tower and. <laughs> they, I think they have to do that to crank it. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Okay. It's a very old clock. Oh, oh gotcha. In fact, I think it was one of the first things here because at one time it was just on a little thing out in the square. Okay. And then it got put in the bell later. Are people allowed to go up to the bell tower and ring it? Oh, no. No. <laughs> 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 Yeah, good try, honey. Good try, right? I bring it if they let me. Okay, let's see this guy a little closer. It looks like an organ or something. It's all those pipes. Right? Yes, it's an organ, honey. Huge organ. Uh, there's the world in this one there. Everything is open, everything is free. It is a lovely, cool. It's beautiful. Walking. It sure is. Wonderful walking turtles in and out of that. Absolutely amazing. And like she was saying, no, no angles of sorrow in here. It's all angles, of sorrow. angles of sorrow. Angles. Ninety de degree angles. The boxes they put us in nowadays. Oh, interesting. I'm learning that they were they're kind of depressing angles, <laughs> or something. I don't know. I got to read into it somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, while we're waiting. Oh, there we go. from Europe and had a lot of composers that were contemporaries of the big European composers. Okay. So we have a lot of Bach music, a lot of Beethoven. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Are we allowed to go anywhere else in this church other than um, here? No, there? it's just the sanctuary that's open. Okay. Do you okay. have questions about it? Does it have a basement? Well, I mean, we, <laughs> we have more cubby holes around here than you would know. ever oh. imagine. Oh, okay. So there yeah, is a basement? Sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, we, we have sort of a series of buildings that are all connected. Uh, downstairs, and it might be over in that building rather than this one per se. Connected? That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, you Underground know, connected? You know, no. I mean, you know how hospitals 
to grow over the years. Yeah. You start out with one building, later they're 15. Of course, yeah. <laughs> We're sort of the same way, but okay. uh, we have the rehearsal room downstairs, um, a meeting room, um, facilities, maintenance type things. Yeah, we were snooping around the perimeter already. And, uh, oh, well, what all you see going on next door is the cause of a water problem that is attacking the basement over there, where our fellowship hall is. Aww. So there's a major dig out to waterproof all of that. Oh, okay. And then right. they're putting in new and improved stairs where we didn't have them before. So it's a, a big to do. Well, why would they dig them underground in the first place, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, it's fascinating. Thank we love it. Nice. Yeah, this is great. Uh, we do have a guest book. Oh, yeah, I signed it. Yeah, I'm going to well, thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And we did have a chair out here. If you're interested in any of this, you're so welcome to it. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe we'll take this one here. Oh. And we can know more about Moravians. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't tell you anything about Moravians, but we were basically the first Protestant denomination there was. Mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't a founder, he was more a pre-founder of the Moravian Church, was a Catholic priest in Prague, mm -hmm. who was burned at the stake for basically the things Martin Luther said 100 years later. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, and they tricked him into coming to talk about his views, the, the, the council of the church, and once they got him in, they arrested him for heresy. Oh, so mean. So, you know, the church <laughs> does some strange things. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. But that's all right. Well, it yeah, turned out to, to be, be a good thing for the rest of the world. Yeah. Well, I send you back out into the humidity. Awesome. So thank you very Stay much. Cool. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. that. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Freaking jackpot. You guys heard all that, right? <laughs> Big old dig out project going on. And when I asked her why they would dig the buildings down in the first place, she, she don't know either. So nobody knows except for some jackass that thinks they'd make them stronger. Anyway. Okay, well that's about that for this place almost, I think. Unless we see something else, we'll pop back in. Appreciate y'all watching though.